your friends have candy colored hair? Do you sit next to the window in class? Are your parents always overseas or uh, preoccupied? These are all warning signs that you may be an anime protagonist. Now, now, ignorant child, being an anime protagonist may seem like a fun time. But it's not. So the first step in surviving your anime is figuring out what kind of protagonist you are. This may seem easy, but it's often pretty hard to work out. For instance, cute little sister and friendly superpowers. You may think you know where this is going until a blade gets lodged into your right eyeball and have a cute, dead little sister. So today we've created this helpful guide to determine what kind of anime protagonist you are so you too can survive. Are you considered an underdog despite being significantly stronger than your peers? Do you have some broken superpowers that only you were born with? Do you yell at the top of your lungs every 30 seconds without purpose? Then you may just be a shonen protagonist. Hope you can handle pressure because you'll probably be forced to save the world. Also, have fun dealing with your new best friend. Expect a lot of tournaments, training arcs, and hospital bills that you'll be paying off for the rest of your life. Just remember, no matter how much you struggle and suffer, everyone will still treat you like shit. Have you been transported to an alternate universe that looks suspiciously like a Japanese RPG? Do you have some latent power that gives you an unfair advantage over those who have actually earned them? Well then you may just be an isekai protagonist. At first this may seem great, but remember most Japanese RPGs take place in the Dark Ages. This is a time of slavery, poverty, warfare, disease, and a lot of death. Oh yeah, and now fucking dragons! I recommend using your newfound powers to join the 1% and ignore any and all calls to action. Because, well, the alternative. Do you have an adorable little sister who's not blood related? Is she always cooking for you because your parents are never home? Is she extremely affectionate and wants to learn more about male anatomy? Don't. Just don't. Is your face always falling into girls' cleavage? Does your friend group seem to consist entirely of the most attractive girls in school? Are you generic looking with no discernible features whatsoever? Then you may just be a harem protagonist. Granted, you may just be that good looking yourself, but statistically, we both know that's not the case. Life may seem great now, but just remember, the writers will never allow you to find true happiness. Do you have a cute female friend with pink hair? Does she seem like really into you? Is she an expert at handling a knife? Where did all your other female friends seem to disappear off to? Wait, what? The cops can't find any trace of them? Well, you, my friend, are a horror protagonist. Now, don't freak out, because she's probably watching us right now. In situations like these, we recommend you just let the universe be destroyed and try again later. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a while since I've really challenged myself with a creative video like this, and I remember why. A huge shout out to all of my patrons. Thanks to your recent support, I actually had a little bit of time I could take off of work and put towards this video, which means this video was only really possible thanks to you guys. Speaking of which, if you're interested in seeing how I edit, chatting with me, or just supporting the channel, I run a $1 a month Patreon to make that as easy as possible. Make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Anime Matt. Make sure you guys see Mango Watch that goddamn anime!